Now, next week will be my final week with Coles as a seasonal worker. Now, I do have the opportunity to go back there in the next few months. Apparently, February is going to be when they open up more seasonal. But according to what the uh, female, uh, the lady friendship manager said yesterday, uh, that's going to be basically like a very short seasonal run because it's mainly, I think, for Easter, Mother's Day, graduation, and Fourth of July, and then that's it. Then uh, the next time they do seasonal will probably be around... Uh, July, late July, early August, to get ready for the holiday season. Now, with that said, of course, one of the ways I've been getting home from work is the bus. Now, my sister, my older sister, will drive me to the park, which is on South Salado, uh, South Second Street and Salado Avenue in Patterson, California, the Veterans Park, which is the main uh, resting area for the buses. Um, you know, when there is no apricot fiesta or any other events, uh, that's the main resting area and pickup station for, you know, for the buses. She either dropped me off there or if she has to go to the Safe Mart uh, in the vicinity or even the Walmart, she'll drop me off at the Walmart bus stop um, across the street from Walmart because there's two. There's one right at Walmart, you know, that drops you off there, you know, so you can uh, go and shop. Or there's one across the street that you can uh, take to go to go uh, to go home to like to Crow's Landing or New or Newman and whatever. Now, with that said, with that said, um, I wanted to talk about the buses, um, if you will. Mostly, you know, my history with them a little bit, and it's kind of ironic that I talk about them now because. Starting today, Stan RTA decided to offer free rides for the month, which I can respect and understand, you know, as a way of them giving back to the passengers, giving back to the community for the holiday season. Uh, but they also do this like a couple of times during the year before this. Sometimes they'll do it uh, during Earth Day. They'll do it, you know, during Earth Day month for a week or two, maybe the whole month. Sometimes they do it uh, to celebrate spring, you know, they'll do that for a couple weeks. Sometimes they'll do it to uh, celebrate the new year and uh, basically do like the first uh, two weeks or the second and third week of, of January to collate with that. But here's the thing, and I do apologize if my words stumble a little bit. I am tired. I did work today. But here's the thing. When... When they do this, I get a little hesitant, you know, I get a little hesitant. And the reason I say that is because even though I understand and respect why they're doing it, a part of me is just not a fan of the fact that, you know, everybody, and I mean everybody, you know, gets a chance to ride the bus. Now, I'm not being, now here's the thing, I'm not being disrespectful or offensive when I say that because... I understand everybody should have an opportunity to get to the destination. But it's basically who you allow on board. And what I mean is that, and I'm sure a lot of you watching and listening to this know exactly where I'm coming from because you've probably been through this yourself. You know, it's one thing to allow people like you and me and others that might be handicapped, like in a wheelchair or whatever, or a senior citizen, you know, that doesn't want to drive but wants to get to a destination for an appointment or whatever. You know, it's one thing to allow, you know, them, us to get on, to get on board, you know, and get, get to where we got to go. It's another thing, though, when you allow, you're pretty much handing out free opportunity, you know, here, when you allow those that might be drugged up, those that might be mentally not all there on board. And the reason I bring this up, and again, I know some of you might, be de might have dealt with this before, and you can let me know in the comments as well as in the live chat. The reason I bring this up is because today I saw it with one guy on the bus. He was doing a little dance like this when he was sitting down, but then he got up a little bit and danced where the car, where the bus was moving and everything. And I was surprised the bus driver didn't say anything because I... Check my time there if you heard a clicking noise. 
Um, but yeah, he started getting up and dancing a little bit to music he was listening to. Um, then, but and then if that's not enough, we've had a a passenger on the bus a couple of times. Well, he'll just shout out loud, you know, like you know what what the bus what the bus computer is saying, like you know the bus will say next, you know uh, the bus will say something like next stop Walmart, you know. Walmart and such and such street that it's connected to and he'll just shout it out, you know, for no reason. I'm like, and it's like, okay, that's weird, you know, but yeah, it's one of those situations to where it's like, you know, it's like when, when you're even riding the bus and you hear on the, on the CB radio, on the walkies, the intercom, if you will, from other buses, you know, you're hearing them dealing with people as well that, feel like or sound like they're not all there themselves, you know, or might be drugged up. It's, it's just one of those situations to where I'm like, these bus companies, whether it's Stan RTA or any other bus company across the country, if not the world, they need to limit themselves and what, who they allow. Again, I say this with all due respect, no offense, because I understand people need to ride the bus. I get that. But you should know when you're looking... And you're seeing somebody that's, you know, kind of like out there a little bit. Or he's, or he or she is, you know, dressed in a way to you like, are they okay and everything. But yet you allow them to board the bus because one of the things they do understand apparently is, oh, free rides. Okay, I'll go on board. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, you need to quadruple check, double check who you allow on these buses. You do. I mean, my mom was once a bus driver. She would normally drive the, um, the uh, I guess you could say, dollar ride like buses. And when she was in Tracy long ago, and she would tell me about this one time where this one guy was just on board with her, and she was by her, herself, and this guy was just f creepy, freaky as hell. And she basically told her job at that time, never put me alone at night with you know out there again never do that again because this guy freaked her out he would ask questions or act in ways that felt like they were not normal as they took my time again there they, they they just felt like they were not normal if you will so i understand exactly where she's coming from i do because i've dealt for years since i've been riding the bus since we lived here in newman i have dealt with people Time in and time out, going on a bus while I'm on the bus, getting ready, you know, just trying to get home. I've dealt with people that seemingly are not all there, and that's a fact. There's this one woman, I don't know what happened to her or anything, but this is one woman that we would pick up in Turlock, and she is just blitzo, she was just blitzo crazy, blitzo crazy. She would yell, you know, rant a little bit cry for no uncontrollable reason, you know, and then basically make faces at the, on the window at a passenger that is sitting down, like she did to me one time. And I'm like, okay, this lady is completely out to lunch. And this is when I was coming home from Turlock, and it was one of the parks in Turlock, if you will. And if that's not enough, if that's not enough either, you know, I go back to that one time last year, and I know it was around the same time, a little before Christmas, but around the same time, where basically I was waiting for the bus. I did some shopping, I was waiting for the bus, and I was after work. And the bus arrived, but it was late. But the way I saw this bus driver, and the way he was acting, and the passengers he had, I was like, yep, this is gonna be one of those nights, and it was. It was gonna be one of those, one of these, it's gonna be one of those trips, one of those nights, and it was, it was. Because th this guy, he was hooping and hollering, you know, while he was driving the bus. The passengers were influencing him, encouraging him. And to really top it all off, he decides he's going to stop. He decides he's going to stop. It took my time there again, filming this in 1080p. He decides he's going to stop over at a Sonics. The Sonics is right next door or oh, right before, I should say, the Regal Theater uh, in Turlock, he decides he's going to stop there for lunch at the encouragement 
of these passengers who they themselves are not all there. I mean, one passenger was just walking back and forth over at the Sonics like he didn't know what he was doing. And one passenger that was not all there, you know, who went along with this, at least he had sense, sense enough to be like, yeah, maybe we should leave this guy here. And then to top it off, I'm the only sane person there. They decide, oh, we're going to um, bribe you with five bucks so that you don't say anything. Uh, yeah, I took the five, but it did not work. Because I told the people on, uh, you know, at Stan RTA, I told, I told the people at Stan RTA what happened. And I said, check your cameras, here's photo evidence, because I took pictures. And they looked it over and they're like, yeah, this guy, and they responded back to me and they said, yeah, we're taking care of it. This guy did not follow the rules. We're going to take care of this. We're going to retrain him. And hopefully they did or hopefully they let him go because obviously he's not fit to drive. The point, the point I'm getting at is my experiences with Stan RTA as a bus service, you know, and I'm sure this goes for any bus service out there, has had its hits and misses. And one thing is, again, one thing is commonly, uh, is a common thread here. If you're going to do free rides for two weeks, a month, or whatever, you need to make sure that who you let on board, your, your passengers, your regular other passengers are comfortable with, because you gotta put those passengers first and foremost. Because if they feel uncomfortable with somebody coming on board that might be drugged up or a little out there, then, yeah, you might want to reconsider that. You might want to reconsider that, if you know what I mean. Because that'll be, that'll look bad for you and your company. Let's be honest. That'll be looking bad for you and your company. But, yeah, it's been, and, and again, and then, of course, on top of that, you need to make sure that your drivers that you hire to ride, uh, to drive these buses, you need to make sure that they know the route from beginning to end, even if you have to have a trainer with them, you know, doing a couple of the routes for at least a couple of weeks until they get it, you know, memorized into their head. But yeah, it's just my history with the bus services. Look, I appreciate what they do. I'm glad they're, they're around for me to ride and get from point A to point B with. But they really need, whether it's Stan RTA or any other bus service out there in this country or this world, they need to really get their acts together because one because of because what's going to happen is one mistake, you know, is going to make it's going to come back to bite them and their company, you know, in the back. And they know it. They know it. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Let me know if you've dealt with something like this, you know, riding the bus and everything. Your let me know your experiences in the live chat as well as in the comments below. And until then, guys. I am out.